Hey everyone, Steve Harris here at Without Code. Today we're going to have a look at how to install three very important tools in your website. These are probably the three tools you should install immediately when you're ready to launch a new site. They are Google Search Console, Google Tag Manager, and Google Analytics. Now you're probably thinking I've installed these a million times before, but I'm going to show you a few little tweaks that we can do when we're installing them to do things like anonymize IP addresses so that our site can be compliant with GDPR or privacy regulations. So first, I've got a new site ready to go here. It's graphics.ninja. This is just my demo and test site I use for these videos. And let's go ahead and first install Google Search Console. So I'm here on the Search Console homepage. Let's click Start Now. It asks us to list a brand new URL, so I'm going to go HTTPS because I'm using SSL colon slash slash www.graphics.ninja. Make sure you include the www as our sites all use that and click add property. Okay, so it says the property is good to go. Now we need to verify ownership. There's a couple ways to do this. So first of all, we could use an HTML file. This is not really going to work with our system. The easiest way to verify your site on without code is using an HTML tag. So if we click the HTML tag method, it says copy the meta tag below. It should go in the head section of your site and then click verify. So I'm going to copy this tag just like that. Let's go back to our site editor. We're going to go to settings and header HTML. Let's just paste that in there. I'm going to paste it below this little script that I have already in my head. Click save. Okay, we're good to go there. And now you're probably tempted to hit verify, but remember we have to republish this before it's going to see those changes live on the site. Okay, so the site is republished. So let's go back to Search Console. Let's click verify. It looks for the tag and it found it. So we're all good there and we're done. Now we can click go to property and we've set up Search Console. So what Search Console is going to do is show you data about what visitors are searching to find your site. It'll show you some traffic stats. It's a really powerful tool. So that's it for that one. Just make sure you're using that header tag to verify the property and we're good to go. Next up, let's install Google Tag Manager. I'm actually going to install my analytics as well through Tag Manager. There is an option for you to install analytics within the settings and Google Analytics tab here, but I actually wanna use more of a custom method for installing this, so I'm not gonna bother using this. So let's have a look at Google Tag Manager. This is the website for Google Tag Manager and it looks pretty similar. It just wants us to create an account. So what Tag Manager does is it's going to place a container on our site. And using this Tag Manager website, we can push different tags. So tags for things like analytics or any sort of third party service that requires something to be embedded in the site. We can now use Tag Manager to manage all that. And we don't have to republish our site a thousand times to do it. So we need to place the Tag Manager container on the site. So the first thing I'm going to do is click Create Account. It asks us to set up our account. So I'm just gonna call this graphics.ninja country. I'm in Canada, so let's go up there. Okay, we look good there, so let's click Continue. Then it says set up the container. So what is the website? Well, it's graphics.ninja. Where to use the container? It's going to be on the web. Let's go click Create. Okay, we have a service agreement. Let's click, I accept the terms and yes. Okay, so we've got Tag Manager all set up. So it gives us all of these scripts that we can embed into our site. Now you can do this a couple ways. You can use the scripts and manually do it, or we actually have a Tag Manager widget. So if I go into widgets and I search for tag, you'll see there's one called SEO Tag Manager. You want to make sure that you're placing this somewhere where it's going to be on every single page of the site. So I'm going to place it in the footer and we'll just drag it out. I'm going to place it at the very bottom of the page. So when we do that, it shows a little button that says this button will not display when published. This is just for preview purposes. Then it asks us to enter our container ID. Well, if I jump back to my Tag Manager page, you'll actually see that ID in the code here. This is what it looks like, this GTM and then a dash and then a bunch of characters. So I've selected that and I'm gonna copy that. Let's go back to the widget and paste it in. Okay, and hit enter and we're good to go. 
So remember again, we need to now republish our site for that to be live on the site. Okay, so it's live. So let's go back to Tag Manager and I'll show you how this works. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to now install analytics through Tag Manager. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a new tag. And I'm actually going to add the analytics tag to this. So add a new tag. It says choose a tag type to begin. If I click on that, let's click Google Analytics. So you can see we've got analytics, there's remarketing, a whole bunch of third party things in here. There's tons of tags pre set up. So let's add analytics. Tracking type, we want to track page view, so that's fine. Then it says Google Analytics settings, select a variable. We need to click new variable. Then it asks us to enter our tracking ID. This is a number you're going to get from Google Analytics, and it's the same thing that you would normally enter in this box here, your tracking ID. So I'm going to go to the Google Analytics page. I'm going to sign up for analytics here. It asks us what we want to track, so we're going to track a website. What's the account name? Let's go graphics.ninja. The website name is graphics.ninja. Okay, the URL, I'm gonna make sure this is set to SSL and let's enter our full URL in there. Kate, we're good. Industry category, I don't know, let's just go computers. Reporting time zone, sure, that's fine. We can leave everything else set and let's click get tracking ID. So of course we have more terms of use. I accept. Okay, so we're done. So now we have a tracking ID displayed here in Google Analytics. So that's what we're gonna copy. We're gonna go back to Tag Manager and drop that tracking ID right there, just like that. Okay, so now we can click Save. That's fine. Next, we need to add a trigger. So if we click on this, it says, choose a trigger. Well, we want it to trigger on all pages. So if I just click all pages, we're good. That's pre-set up. We can give this a name. Let's just call it analytics and click save. Okay, so now what we need to do is publish these changes. Basically publish this container for the first time. The way that we do that is we click this big submit button on the right side. It says you can add a version name just in case you want to call this. Let's just call this V1 and our description while we added analytics, something like that. You don't really need to write anything in here, but if you want to make constant tag updates, it helps to write something in here so you know which version you have, and we click Publish. Okay, so we've published our Tag Manager container. That container has the analytics code in it, and because that container was already in my website using the Tag Manager widget here, and I've republished it, let's just do that again one more time to be sure, everything should be live in the site and working properly. So there is one thing that I want to change within my Tag Manager account. And what I want to do is I want to anonymize the IP addresses collected by analytics. So new privacy regulations require that if you're going to be tracking personally identifiable data, something like an IP address which specifies a user's location, you need to gain consent first. You can avoid having to gain that consent, which can be challenging to do, by anonymizing the IP addresses within your analytics. Then you're not tracking anything very personal. You may lose some slight location tracking. So you'll see that visitor geographics are a little more broad. Maybe it's a, a entire country versus a city, but I've never felt that the data was lacking anything I needed to see. And it's certainly more compliant with GDPR and privacy rules. So the way that we are going to make that change is we need to go back into our Tag Manager account, go into Tags, we're gonna edit our analytics tag. Okay, now I'm gonna click this button that says enable overriding settings in this tag. Let's do that. It brings up a whole bunch of advanced things. So we're gonna go more settings and then underneath fields to set, we need to add something here. So let's click add field. Okay, and now I'm gonna reference another site that I've been using for this. And it says we need to change our fields to anonymize IP and your value to true. So I'm gonna copy this here and let me go back to Tag Manager and in the field, I'm going to, I can actually just type non and it comes up as one of the pre-built options there and we can put in true and we're good to go. Oop, let me bring that back up so you can see it. 
So we've got anonymized IPs and true. And now we click save. So we've added this little variable to our analytics tracking. And now to push that live, I'm gonna go submit. Of course, now this is V2 and we'll say added anonymizing IPs and click publish. Okay, so I think we are done. We've set up search console. It's processing some data here. I don't think anything's been picked up, but it says come back in a few days and you'll see something. We've installed tag manager. And now we've installed analytics through Tag Manager and we've set up that anonymized IP setting so that we're not tracking any personally identifiable user data. We don't need to request consent or anything like that before we do and it just simplifies things for your site. I hope this helps. Thanks again for watching and please let us know if you encounter any troubles. Cheers.